Hi Gemini, this is a general love reading for mid-March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. It is going to be general, so that means it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs if you want. And also do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. And this is a temporary um, change in the camera angle. I am most likely going to take it back to how it was. <clears throat> so let's see, Gemini. What is going on with you mid-March? All right, we have separation and we have pause. All right, so definitely it feels like there is actually i'm getting two messages come through here okay and it might be it might be different for all of you some of you are in a separation that might feel like it's kind of like just a break in your connection and then for others of you i feel like you may have actually already been in separation and then it feels like there's a little pause in that separation all right however that makes sense to you but it, i'm getting that message as well so let's get into it and and see what this is about actually Second half of March, 2021. All right, so for your situation, we have the Seven of Pentacles crossed by Justice, all right? Recent past, the Fool, and near future, the Four of Swords. All right, there's that pause. It actually feels like <clears throat> more like a healing energy when it comes to a breakup, to a separation. Um, again, it still could be like a pause within the separation. It's coming through in a very strange way. Um, we'll see when we get deeper into this. But basically what I'm seeing here is... <clears throat> There could have been something that either you or this person was trying for, was putting in an effort where it almost felt like it was putting in the effort but not actually getting results. Um, could be because the effort was not as focused for the specific goal, like um, either that or just going about it in the wrong way. Because it feels like with justice being like the challenge here, is that the reason why there weren't results is because something was not being done exactly in the right way. It's kind of like wanting one thing, but then doing things that don't actually bring you that one thing. So even though you kind of hope that those things you're doing will bring the results you want, it's but they don't. So <clears throat> we will get more information when we clarify. The fool in the recent past, there could have been something that happened that was impulsive. Maybe somebody took a risk at something. Um, something new, but let me just see your energy here. We have the eight of pentacles. For them, we have the seven of wands. More for you is the emperor. For them, the king of cups. And potential outcome, the eight of wands. All right, so... I actually feel like, I don't know who this is here, and who it is that was putting in an effort that wasn't bringing results. It could have been you, um, maybe the other person. But what I see from you here is that you are, it's like you are doing your work. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're putting in an effort and your effort is actually um, leading you towards the results that you want. I feel like you're really taking your own life into your own hands and you're and you're, you're having control over this it's taking some effort but i feel like you're pretty much achieving that um your person though it's it's interesting because although they do they do have a lot of emotions for you there's a lot here um when it comes to love they they seem a little bit guarded all right because they also have the seven of wands however the future does look um, a little bit different here because we have the Eight of Wands. So this talks about action, communication, just forward movement. So let's clarify and 
get into it. Alright, so let me clarify the Seven of Pentacles with Justice. Chariot, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so there it is. It's that somebody really trying to do something here, right, with the Chariot, really putting in some effort, really, um, you know, taking charge, and actually, this is somebody who's taking action, but those actions aren't bringing the results. And again, it feels like it's because there's something about these actions that are, it's either like, how do I say this? I, I feel like it's either doing half the work, hoping that it will be enough, and then just like avoiding, avoiding like the one main thing that does need to be done. That's how it's coming through. Um, and this could be related to something that this person, you know, needs to say or possibly needs to do. It could be something very, very small to something very, very big, all right, depending on your situation. I, I mean, this, again, it could be you, it could be them, I don't, I don't know. Um, it's still not clear because if it is you, if this is Gemini who is in this type of an energy, I do then see you actually moving towards actually doing what you need to do all right if it's if it's the other person um yeah we'll see because i do see a little bit of guardedness here so it could be the other person but again roles can be reversed anyway all right let me see this fool in the recent past so you can see the world the seven of cups and the ace of wands all right this is i feels like there was something that happened here in the past um where something closed out it, it could have been the separation but it doesn't feel like it was a real separation and this is kind of what I've been getting from the beginning, that the separation is not like a conclusive, like, that's it, we're done, end of story. It doesn't feel like that at all. I feel like there was something, though, that was ended, or maybe um, an aspect of this connection ended, and it just concluded, like, a phase of this connection seemed to have closed out. Um, and then following that, it feels like there was something here that just felt very different, very new, but it also brought a lot of confusion with it. Or almost like, okay, you know, there's a conclusion, there's some kind of a break, and then not really knowing how to go about putting things back together. But it feels like there was some kind of a... Um, some kind of a risk involved here. So maybe there was a break and then you, maybe you kind of got back together and that was the risk, which could be a pause in that separation, which is why it feels like it wasn't like a real separation. I mean, it could still be a real separation, but it's kind of like going back, going, not really allowing it to fully, to fully be that. Let's move on. Let's see. This is... Feels a little complicated here, Gemini. Let me see the Eight of Pentacles for your energy. All right, the Nine of Wands. Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. I've, I feel like you're trying to let this go, um, and that could be why it doesn't feel complete, like a complete separation, because um, it could be that you're still. You're, you, you're still thinking that, you know, maybe it can work out or there is some kind of a something holding you back a little bit in this connection, which I'm not I'm not judging that because I mean, maybe you will end up with this person. I don't know. This is just what I, I see is going on now. It feels like you're putting in the effort. Um, it's hard. 
it's challenging for you, but it's like you're trying to to emotionally detach from the idea that this that this commitment could actually um, work out in the long term. And you're, it's like you're trying to be okay with not not depending on it. And I feel like it's a little bit more difficult than than you had anticipated. Let me see this, this emperor because I feel like you know it, it it's okay it's okay because you're you still have this emperor in your energy here so let me see oh the emperor again second time clarifying the emperor and the six of cups it almost feels like a trip down memory lane um, with the specific person here. Um, it almost comes through as both of you showing up like the emperor, both like that you you do have more control than you realize. Um, if you feel like you've had a, a minor setback, it's just a setback. I mean, it's just minor, like it's not really a setback. It could be that it's part of the process. And if it is a setback, as I said, it's minor. It's not like something for you to really worry about because I feel like for the most part, you do have this under control. Um, whatever it is that you're, I don't know, working towards here, which I feel is working towards a detachment of some sort. Let's see what's going on with them. Let me see the seven of wands. So they get the, I'm so sorry about the noise, the cats are having a party or something. <laughs> Alright, the Nine of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Alright, okay, so your person here, they, this is something that they, that they would really want, alright, they, uh, they feel like you are their person, they feel like you are, like, home to them, alright, they know that this is a very um, special bond between the two of you. They're either afraid of rejection or they are um, feeling a little bit like the victim, which I actually feel, I'm getting the sense that it's both. Um, I feel like it's obviously clear to them that you would want this. You're obviously trying to detach for a particular reason, all right? Um, but to them, even though they realize you would want them, they still have this fear of a rejection because, because whatever it is that has held this connection from really um, moving forward, that's what they're having a hard time um, figuring out if they can do it, like if they can live up to what it is that you, that you need. Um, there's something that they are resisting. There's something that they're blocking and with that comes Also the energy of them blocking out what they truly want and here's Why they are kind of like falling victims to the to their own self Because they know that you will reject them if something doesn't um, Shift here Now it could even be that, it could be kind of like the other way around, like this, if you are the one who is putting in an effort for something that's not really bringing the results, all right, for this connection, then they have resistance to what it is that they truly want and they have that fear of rejection um, because of that. All right, so either way, this person does have some resistance when it comes to this connection even though they really do want it and they really do feel like this is where they belong that you are their person but there's a fear of of that rejection of, of a loss and so for that reason they're closing themselves off so as to protect themselves all right either way regardless of whether it is them or you who is not making a decision here and who is not taking the actions that need to be taken. 
So I hope that made sense. Let me see the King of Cups. Alright, the Four of Cups, the Three of Swords, and Temperance. Alright, yeah, so they're in a lot of pain. Um, they're in a lot of pain. They're feeling a lot of discontent. Unsettled. because of the situation, all right? So this person has a lot of love for you. They're holding back those emotions because they have a fear of this not working out, whether it is from your side or their side, as I said. And this is causing them um, a lot of pain, but they're really trying to find their balance. I feel like, you know, they're... It, they're not even just trying. They're healing this pain. They're healing the pain of this separation, which isn't like 100% a separation yet, but might be. Um, yeah. Something else that wants to come through with this message. It it, it gives me a, also a sense of settling into this into this pain, almost like for some of them, I want to say getting used to it actually. Right, let's see what's coming up. Let's see this Four of Swords. All right, the Four of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. some kind of a, of a pause in whatever it is that's going on within the separation. All right, so <laughs> here's Mannix. No. You can sit on me. All right. There's something that is shifting here, all right, in the, in the near future coming up. It's, it's like a pause within, within the separation. So take that as it resonates because it feels like if you are in separation, again, it feels like if there has been a lot of pain, there's going to be a bit of, you're, it's like you're going to catch a break. Like you're going to feel like you're healing from this, from this pain. All right, if there was a separation and you got back together and it does it feels like it's not like the back together for good, this is like another pause coming into this relationship. Where it's like there's it's like you're still holding on. You're still holding on and that's why it might create some some anxiety, some stress, but I feel like that is going to shift because there's healing that is coming up here along with this. So if you if you got back to got back together, you feel like that's a setback in any way, it's okay. It's okay. All right? It might be a little bit stressful for a little bit, but I feel like for the most part that's that's healing. That's helping you to heal as well. So let's see the Eight of Wands for the potential outcome. All right, the Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands. Actually, the Two of Wands came out first. Doesn't really matter. So there's going to be action here. There's going to be communication. I feel like... Um, whoever it is that needs to kind of, you know, step up and do something, because I feel like one or the other of you is in that position, I feel like that person is going to step up, but it might still come 
with a little bit of of hesitation or or doubt I feel like it's not completely um, like it like that pathway hasn't been like clicked on where it's like set all right okay this is what's gonna happen not yet at least all right there is action as I said um, there is going to be some kind of, of movement here, something that is going to be a little bit different than it was before in the good way, all right, in, in the sense of progression, but it's not 100%, the outcome is just not 100% set for this yet, right? So Gemini, if this was resonating, let's see your final message. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. And let's see. Felt really complicated. All right, and we have, have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Very self-explanatory. So whatever your intuition is, is telling you, have faith in yourself that you are moving in the right in the right direction and that what is meant for you, you will have. All right, Gemini, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.